Euroboy 2017, we're going to have a little walk around and see what sort of cool tech bits and pieces we can find. Come and have a look, we'll show you the best stuff around. So for 2018, Camelback have got two new packs. They've got the Toro and they've got the Kudu. So the Kudu has existed previously, but it's smartened up and it's got two sizes now. And the best thing about this is it's got a back protector unit that can be taken off the pack completely and used on its own just as a vest. So if you're riding a bike park or maybe racing an enduro, you've still got some storage in there. And the actual back protector unit itself has been much improved from the previous model. It's much more conformative. It's a four layer system now rather than the dense foam it had previously. And there's also two options of these. So this is the bigger one you see in the Kudu. And there's a thinner one that comes in the Toro. And let's just show you how effective they are. So to go along with the back protection that Camelback are offering from 2018, it's also a sternum protector. And as you can notice, it's got a GoPro mount built into that. So not only does it make a very stable mount for your GoPro, it gives you that big chest protection that a lot of people are concerned about. This is compatible with all Camelback packs, but also it's a standalone unit. You can wear this just on its own for filming. That's definitely going to be on our list of things to get. One of the coolest things about Eurobike is seeing all the weird quirky stuff and how modern technology like dropper posts can trickle down to give you benefits for other riders and different applications. So KS, for example, they've been doing dropper posts for years, one of the first major manufacturers of them. They're now offering this post, which has got 250 mil drop. Laugh it up, but this has actually got really good ideas. So think about a hire bike, for example. If you're hiring a bike, you no longer have to mess around with Allen keys and that. You've got that huge range of adjustment. Or perhaps if you've got a commuter bike at home, you share it with some other people. That's where they're going with this sort of stuff. And it's great to see this sort of stuff going down to mega cheap bikes. In future, I think all bikes will be coming with dropper posts. So KS have got one of the biggest ranges of dropper seat posts on the market. And for 2018, they've got a lot of refinements, including a new remote. But the really cool news that I've just discovered is they're now doing 175 mil drop post. So really good for the taller riders, especially out there. And we just spotted on their stand this really cool bold Lincoln bike. And it's one of the bikes that's got a hidden shock that's housed inside the seat tube here. And it's actuated by that rocker linkage. Really smart bit of design to keep the shock out of harm's way. So one of the things we've been seeing at the show is a lot of ways of improving ride qualities in that. And of course, Envy makes some of the best rims in the world, but one of the issues they've been finding out is the rims are so strong that the weak point actually now becomes the tire and how the tire is impacted and pinched on a rock or a hard impact. So that's inevitable with enduro and downhill riding in particular, with the pace the riders are riding at. So they started looking at different types of tire insert to protect the rim and help stop this happening. And what they've come up with is this ingenious sort of rim strip. It's got a built-in rim protector that actually stops the rim getting damaged at the same time. And they've just shown us a demonstration with a 50 pound weight and they're dropping it from 12 inches above the rim and it's actually breaking the rim and the tyre still stays inflated, so it's not pinching. That's really cool technology. I'm sure we're going to see this filtering down later in the year. So something else really cool with the new Envy rims is the fact they're doing an e-spec version, so it's ready for electric bikes, basically. And the difference is it's got a 35mm rim on there, so that's to cater for the 2.8 tyre to give it a best sort of rim feel. And actually quite novelly, they're using six-bolt disc rotors on here rather than center lock or any other option because it's the best option for all that braking torque that goes in for the additional weight of the bike. They're also using round double bucket spokes, so they're not using bladed spokes that you might see on some other lighter options. Just another cool way of incorporating like, some good features with technology that already exists to make it applicable for e-bike technology. Checking out the Rocky Mountain Altitude Power Play. It's an e-bike, obviously, but it's a little bit different to others because it's not using a Bosch or a Shimano or a Yamaha system. It's actually using their own proprietary system, which is an incredibly brave thing to do. But what they've managed to do is create a bike that handles exactly the way they want it to do. So the motor system itself is housed above the bottom bracket unit. So that not only allows short chain stays or the chain stays that they want to spec on the bike, but it means you can use regular cranks and bottom brackets, so aftermarket components are much easier to fit and spec. So Crank Brothers is showing off a really cool range of click pumps, and click is a technology that's used in their hand pumps. They've got a magnetic sort of piece that goes into it, so if I start at the top here just to demonstrate this, you've effectively got a pressure gauge straight out that works on its own independently of the pump, and then to use the pump, you're simply using a magnetic connection, use that as your track pump, simple. Also notice it's got a canister on the front here so you can charge this up as you would with any other type of compressor type pump. And then when you're ready and that's charged, 
inflate your tyre using it. The compressor itself can actually be removed and so you can charge this, you can take this in your car with you and that will store two charges to fill two tyres for full inflation. Really cool modular system. There's also an analogue version of the same unit, so without the compressor. Again, it's the same principle, use this as a pressure gauge on its own. Click that into the pump, job done. So checking out the 661 Reset helmet, this is a brand new, totally unique helmet. It's our own mould design. The best thing about this helmet, it's 100 euros. This is a totally bespoke design. It comes in four colours. There's seven sizes ranging from double XS all the way to double XL. And that's three shell sizes for them. And it's an ABS shell. Complies to all the standards you need. And it's got some really cool colourways, like this sort of tropical jungle type feel. Really high end finish. You just wouldn't know that that's an entry level price point helmet. Maximum protection, maximum value. Such a good product. So this is the brand new POC Tectel race helmet with the spin technology inside. Now spin is POC's take on prevention of rotational injuries. And they do this by using these unique pads inside, which are designed to kind of offer a kind of a shearing movement. So to counter the rotational movement your head might have inside the helmet. It's a really nice, neat alternative way of doing it and it doesn't add any additional weight to the helmet because it's built into the padding system. Super neat, really tidy built into the helmet. Good work. Okay, so that was uh, day two end of with the uh, tech around Eurobike. Uh, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the globe. There's a brand new video every single day, so make sure you do that. If you want to find out a bit more what happened on day one for Eurobike tech, click down here. And if you want to find out all about the Shimano Steps E8000 system, click up here. And of course, if you like the video, don't forget, give us a thumbs up.